Well, what are we doing right now? Walking. We're walking to a pub because <laughs> we're going to have some day drinks because the uh, ambulance is down and broke. <laughs> we're already day five and we're broke down in Maple Ridge. <laughs> we're such adventurers. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. It's a minor detail. Yeah, just the power steering. Let's get that fixed up today. And then we're gonna head, start heading towards uh, the interior. In Cologne area looks like it has the best weather. And what do we want? Sunshine. We want sun. So that's an update. We'll, uh, it's an update on what we're doing and we will uh, show you the pub. Turn left, then your destination will be on the- uh, We are on our way to the pub to get day drunk. And um, the auto shop just called. So we're walking back to the shop because we just spent a couple hours in Tim Hortons killing time until it was noon so we could go have a drink but now we can't go have a drink because the van's ready so we're gonna we're not mad about it we're not mad about it <clears throat> we'll just continue uh on our trip ah here we go how much do you think it cost four hundred and ten dollars I'm gonna go 328 well we were at the Tim Hortons uh, we got a bunch of downloading done, some more movies on the computer, social media stuff. And a good friend of mine and his wife just got back from riding their motorcycle to Argentina. And his daughter just gave birth. And it's kind of a nice day for them. And we got to see them, which was great because we haven't seen them in over a year. And great to hear about their travels and share what we're going to do. So, Lauren, Larissa, if you're watching, it's nice to see you. Well, on our walk back to the van, Kristen almost stepped on this dead rat that's bigger than my effing foot. Oh, mainland rats. Look at she didn't even want to stop. <laughs> our uh, limousine waiting for us. Where do we go? I'm not sure where we go to pay, but she's all fixed. Pretty happy about that. So, you said it was going to be 400 and something? I said 328, it was 175. Perkins Automotive. Um, it wasn't ruptured, it was just loose. But the guy, it took them an hour and a half to get it, two guys, two mechanics to get it tightened up. So I don't feel stupid for not being able to get out of the power steering hose from in there. Um, but anyway, we're back on the road and we're gonna start heading to uh, Alona. Alona area, stop in the mountains somewhere tonight and uh, find a camp and Go from there. So just leaving Mission down the number seven, and towards home. Kristen spotted diesel for a buck sixty-eight. I haven't seen it that cheap for years. They're really cheaper than on the island. Uh, uh, really, yeah, it's good. So we just uh, still had a half a tank, but filled up with cheap gas. Dollar sixty-seven over there. Oh, dollar sixty-seven over there. It's maybe it'll get cheaper as more we go east. <laughs> Well, 40 kilometers of FSR up a pretty decent road, but definitely was potholed out. Uh, took us about an hour to get here, but this is what you get. I think we could get used to this. Gonna probably stay here a couple, three days, I would think. It's, you know, it was a good hour, over an hour to get in here off uh, the, the paved road. Uh, it's a nice sight. Um, yeah, Beulah did it again. So one of the things I do as soon as we get to a camp spot is I run around to any little fire pit and just look for any wood, any wood I can find and um, gather it. So we got enough wood for a few days. I, I can only carry so much wood in my uh, trash room on the back. I usually just use that to get it going, the dry piece of my own wood, but this is what I've gathered so far. Went down on the beach, grabbed some, uh, grabbed some driftwood, grabbed some logs that were up on the shore of the river here, and uh, some people left two by twos and two by fours. So that's just what I've gathered in the last, I don't know, half hour. Typically, while I'm gathering the firewood, Kristen is inside fixing the mess from the bumpy road. We left the cupboard open. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the floor. So 
So I'm really glad we bought uh, we bought <clears throat> extra hose for the hot water system because man, I guess I could get a little bit closer or I could back in, but it, I like having the uh, door of the ambulance where a fire pit and stuff is. So um, I took every hose I have. You can see that hose going down there. And uh, stretch right out over the bank, just enough. Oops, my phone's wet, acting up there. You can see there, it's, it's right in the, just barely in the creek right there. Every last inch I had. Well, this is a new one. Diesel heater's kicking on, but not like not burning too good right now. Well, woke up to another beautiful sunshiny day. A little uh, fogged in this morning. It's nine o'clock now, and the breaking up nice uh, sun's just coming up over the uh, mountain across from us uh, thought I parked thought I parked uh, where it's gonna be sunny all day but there's this one tree where the sun's coming up it's blocking the van so I got the alternative mobile solar panel out helping us with a little power because my battery's down to 55 percent um, I think if we get a full day today we'll, we'll be close to 100 by the end of the day Let's hope. So yeah, happy that I always carry this one with us because this is in the sun right now. Uh, it's getting almost four amps, really good for 200 watts there. So you can see the van is uh, just that one little shitty tree over there just casting a little bit of shade on the van. And but once the sun moves, I can move the van too, but I'm not gonna. Um, it'll work itself out, I'm sure, as long as I got amps going in all day it's it's good cold last night you see the frost still on this side of the picnic table As for the uh, smoking, as for the smoking diesel heater, I'm pretty sure what happened there is I must have turned it off without running it up. So it was full of fuel and it took a couple tries to burn the fuel off to uh, get working properly again. So that was fault of mine, not the uh, Chinese heater. Worked nice. It was, it was below, below zero last night for sure. It was frosty out here, but uh, we were nice, you know, 18, 20 degrees all night in the uh, van. So super, super good. It's a good day gathering wood. So we're just having a game here. Which side of the fire pit the screw falls in. There's so many variables. This is what you do when you're us. Well, we didn't really place a bet. The fucking thing didn't fall in or out. Look, it didn't fall in. The piece burnt off. Look where it landed. <laughs> like, fuck you. showed up last night so we 
got up early, we packed up, and we're out of here because we don't like camping with other people. So, yeah, in fact, Cap Kristen doesn't like peeing in front of people. But no. so yeah, we're packed up and uh, we're on to wherever we're going now. We have about 40 kilometers of logging road to get back to the main highway. Back down in civilization uh, and, and towards home.